Sue Partridge, head of Airbus's ambitious wing of tomorrow's program, announced that Airbus created a kind of composite wing capable of high-speed production, a revolutionary feature destined for their upcoming aircraft aimed at dominating the market segment currently held by Boeing 757. Industry insiders are already buzzing that this new aircraft, when launched, could obliterate any competition in its class, including the older 757. The most striking feature of this emerging design is its game-changing advanced engineering, poised to redefine the playing field entirely. So, what's this new aircraft all about? Why do experts believe it can surpass the 757? Can it dominate the last segment still held by Boeing? Let's dive in. So, what exactly is that aircraft? Is this the first time you've heard of it? It is named Airbus A322, a potential new aircraft that the European plane maker has been mulling over for quite some time, almost like nurturing a long-held dream. As Airbus strategizes its next move in the fast-paced aviation industry, where standing still means getting left behind, the aircraft has emerged as a potential extension of its popular sibling, the A321, an aircraft we've seen soar to great success recently. Right now, the A321 program is one of Airbus's crown jewels, consistently performing well year after year, and the A322 is viewed as a way to expand on that success, attracting even more attention and curiosity. The hype around it spiked in 2021, when Bloomberg hinted that Airbus was considering adding newer, more efficient engines to the A320 lineup. This wouldn't just be limited to the A320, but could also potentially extend to the A350 line, with whispers of a possible A350neo appearing sometime in the mid-2020. S. Of course, this isn't happening right away, but the news reveals where Airbus's ambitions are pointed. Continuous innovation, relentless expansion, and who knows? Maybe the A322 could be the next game changer in commercial aviation. Additionally, Airbus is planning to look into a new composite wing design to ramp up production if needed. This new wing concept has been a hot topic in what Airbus calls its new era. Yes, they're making it sound as epic as possible. Keep in mind that Airbus is still brainstorming ways to make their planes even more efficient in the future. Will this new wing take them soaring ahead? Hard to say. But Airbus isn't the only one eyeing the next-gen wing game. Boeing is over there struggling a bit but still trying with their TTBW project in collaboration with NASA. If that works out, they're hoping it could be the next big thing for commercial aircraft. And yes, this new composite wing design brings some flashy features. Picture this. The wingtips can fold up, making it look like a serious standout in the A320 family lineup, setting it apart from every other Airbus commercial jet to date. It's a little reminiscent of the folding wingtips on the Boeing 777X, definitely not your average Airbus wing. It goes without saying that an Airbus A322 would basically look like a stretched out A321. But what else is in the mix? Well, how much further they can stretch that fuselage. According to Sash Tusa, an analyst at Agency Partners, this longer A321 could add up to four more rows of seats. With the standard 3-3 seating configuration that Airbus loves to put on its A320 family jets, that's an extra 24 seats. Now, Airbus claims that the A321 can carry up to 40 more passengers than the A320, which is just over six extra rows. So, slapping on four more rows could stretch this aircraft to just under 50 meters in length, basically the length of a football field, give or take. But wait, there's more. Using next-gen engines might even require shifting around the landing gear position. Maybe they're planning on giving the A322 a bit more kick in the landing department. Finally, let's dive into the interesting of airplane measurements. So, how much longer could the A322 really get? When you stack it up against Boeing's narrow-body jets, the 737 MAX 10 is just a hair shorter than the A321, coming in at 43.8 meters, which is approximately 143 feet 8 inches. It's not bad, but still a bit shy of the A321. Now, the 757-300, which is no longer in production, measures a beefy 54.4 meters, 178 feet 5 inches. This shows that modern narrow-body planes can definitely stretch out if they want to. Kind of like that friend who just needs a little more space in the car. Going way back in time, the longest versions of the Douglas DC-8 were 57.1 meters, 187.3 feet. Now that's one long classic jet. So what does all this tell us about the A322's potential mission? 
Well, it's clear that Airbus isn't shy about stretching things out and could be aiming for a secret conspiracy. What is it? When we bring up the 757, it's hard to ignore the fact that there's still a gap in the market for a plane in that segment with no true successor in sight. So when Airbus reveals information about this potential new jet, the question arises, could the A322 be the long-awaited heir to the 757? Demand for a new mid-range aircraft falling somewhere between wide-body jets like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A330 and single-aisle planes like the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 is growing. Airlines are eager to phase out their aging Boeing 757 fleets, which have long served as the workhorse for long, narrow routes. Stretching the Airbus A321 by a few more meters to create the hypothetical a 322 inches would make it a perfect candidate to directly replace the aging 757. Despite its age, this Boeing aircraft remains a key player for major airlines like Delta, especially for those longer, thinner routes that require the kind of reach and efficiency only it has been able to provide. Currently, the closest successors to the Boeing 757-200 are the Airbus A321 XLR and the Boeing 737 MAX 10. Both of these aircraft can seat over 200 passengers in a two-class configuration, though the 737 MAX 10 offers a longer range. The A321 XLR, an upgraded version of the A321 with new engines, added fuel tanks, and a redesigned cabin for more seating, is Airbus's solution to filling the 757's shoes without the need for a longer fuselage. This design choice helps avoid the additional costs and certification requirements that come with stretching the aircraft. The arrival of the XLR underscores an important fact which we'll dive into next. So, will the A322 appear? While there's been some buzz about its potential, the chances of such an aircraft materializing are pretty slim, at least in the short term. Airbus loves to explore new aircraft ideas and put a lot of effort into research and development, but let's face it, many of these designs don't even make it past the drawing board. Just because we're talking about the A322 doesn't mean it's definitely happening, but that doesn't mean all that research is pointless. You might wonder why. Well, as we've seen over the last 50 years, a lot of those failed concepts actually laid the groundwork for future aircraft. These research efforts are crucial for shaping the future of the manufacturer and guiding them toward more profitable programs. Even though it's not officially confirmed, there are rumors that the A322 could include four extra rows of seats, possibly expanding business class or at least giving more room for economy. However, public interest in this new aircraft hasn't exactly been through the roof, and now more reasonable options are starting to steal the spotlight. Why it might not appear? One of the more reasonable reasons might be the development of the A320neo series, specifically the A321XLR a longer range version. Unlike the A322, which focuses on stretching the fuselage, the XLR is all about stretching that range. Announced in 2019, the XLR quickly became a crowd favorite, with hundreds of orders rolling in from airlines. Since its debut, it's been a hit, even with the usual certification hurdles. The massive number of orders proves that there is a solid demand for longer range aircraft like this. On the other hand, while the A322 aims to integrate new, more efficient technologies to deliver better economic benefits to customers, there's a pretty strong case to be made that today's tech isn't quite up to snuff to justify buying a whole new aircraft right now. If Airbus had pitched the Airbus aircraft to airlines and barely got any interest, or worse, an interest that wasn't strong enough to push forward, then, well, maybe it's a sign to let this one slide back into the hangar for a while. In the end, the upgraded A321neo in its XLR version may have turned out to be a much shinier and more attractive option for Airbus. While the A322 set out to bring in fancy new tech for better economic perks for customers, some would argue that today's tech just isn't quite ready to make that aircraft a hot seller. With the added fuel tanks giving the XLR some serious range, it became a pretty sweet alternative, without needing major changes like new engines or wings. Airbus could even argue that if an airline's eyeing the A322, they might as well just go for the A330neo instead. So, the A321neo and its variations are like the perfect bridge to the future, and deciding to put the new one on pause isn't exactly a huge blunder at this point. While you can't completely rule out its possibility of emerging in the distant future, as there might still be demand, it's believed that the XLR is the pinnacle of what's currently needed in that aircraft category for airline customers. So, what do you think? 
Should Airbus focus on the XLR or continue developing the A322 to bring a new product to the market? While airlines are expecting the next airplane, Boeing's been too tied up wrestling with its own problems to make it happen. Airbus, spotting a golden opportunity as Boeing sinks into the quicksand, has been introducing the A321neo, which dominates the market share. With its sweet spot for medium-haul flights, has become the go-to choice for long-haul, single-aisle routes with alluring low operating costs. Boeing's lack of new offerings has opened the door wide for Airbus, giving the European giant a major upper hand. But Airbus isn't resting on its laurels. They're always brainstorming ways to add unique twists to each new model, ensuring every variant brings fresh value. Sure, the A322 might not hit the assembly line right away, but if demand grows over the next 10, 20, or even 30 years, Airbus might just go for it. Meanwhile, they're on the cutting edge, exploring the next-gen tech that could define commercial aviation's future. They're not looking to just slap on a recycled engine for a new A320 Neo. They're working to create a tech-forward plane that's truly innovative. Boeing, for its part, has hinted they're holding off on new mid-size airplane until technology feels truly next level. Airbus sees this ongoing rivalry as a golden chance to reinforce its own dominance. With a stronger footing than Boeing at the moment, Airbus is happily plotting its path forward, aiming to stay a few steps ahead and maybe, just maybe, rule the skies for decades to come. What are you hoping to see from the new A322? Ideally, it'll build on the stretched A321, but more than anything, we're excited to see if it can overcome some of the limitations and introduce even more advanced tech. For instance, the XLR lacks a designated crew rest area, so it'd be amazing if the new aircraft took care of that. And the big question, which engines will power the A322? There's no official word yet, but Airbus has hinted it'll feature high-performance next-gen engines. So. What future engines from which manufacturer do you think could land the job? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and here's to safe skies for all your journeys.